Well, it looked like y'all got what y'all wanted last night. Um, it wasn't no full blown Martin Luther King speech, uh, or none of that, but enough was said inside that little two or three minutes uh, LeBron had up on at the end of his post game speech. LeBron said, match my energy. He said, match match energy. He said, let's keep the same energy. You know, uh, he was talking about, you know, he had a good post-game interview. They had a, they had a great game last night. Shout out to the Lakers. I'm one of the biggest Laker fans out there. But uh, at the end of LeBron's interview, he, <laughs> out of nowhere, said, can I ask y'all something? Why is it we don't keep the same energy for when my people do something as to when y'all's people do something talking to the media and what he was talking about was a, it was it was black and white let's let's just let's keep it 100 on that how come when Kyrie was all in the news it was every tabloid you didn't agree with what he was talking about so it was on every tabloid and y'all was making Kyrie look like a monster Mind you, you know, these guys, they have a a weird kind of history and stuff, but they have a solid relationship. They have an NBA title together. Uh, So it was a beautiful thing to see him kind of come to his little brother's aid, being, you know, the big brother and the most powerful guy in the association. But But the way he handled that media, you know, right when he started speaking in that nature, somebody tried to speak up and cut him off. And he told the crowd, hold on. And matter of fact, not only hold on, but don't say nothing afterwards. Just just sit and think. Don't react. Just think. Cause see that that really that really has an effect on changing your outlook when somebody can hit you with cognitive dissonance. Put 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 whatever the truth is out there, and you just gotta sit in it. No reaction. Cause that's what a lot of people do. People live to react. People don't live to listen and understand and soak up what you're saying. They just live to react. And somebody immediately had tried to cut him off. So I love how LeBron handled that. But he was saying, you know, how come y'all don't match the that energy? Like, okay, how come Jerry Jones and those pitchers, how come that's not as out there? Or that was just kind of swept under the rug over all these years, especially given what my people have been through. Now y'all know I'm 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 one to always be like uh I know a lot of people call call me a coon and this and that, but I'm I'm one to always be like shut up and dribble. And I don't say shut up and dribble because I just think my guys are a bunch of nobodies and we, we powerless and this and that. The bottom line is they do take away they do take away your stuff a lot of times if you speak up and they try to break you in front of everybody and, and nobody wants to see that happen to somebody in our culture that's that powerful. It, it's demoralizing. It, it really is. I don't think that's going to happen to LeBron. Um, but it's it's, it, 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 it's actually, you know, me coming from that standpoint a lot of times, it's a beautiful thing to see him step up and say something. I think he's gotten a lot of pressure because lately he hasn't been saying much and stuff and he's just been kind of doing his thing and, you know, wrapped into his own legacy and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's worked hard for it. But it was a beautiful thing to see him step up for Big Brother and also make the people think, you know, we're looking at this Jerry Jones thing basically like it's not a big deal, but we're making we're making Kyrie, who doesn't really have any power, Jerry Jones has real power. Kyrie doesn't have really any power, and we're making him look like some kind of monster and demigod or whatever you want to say. Like, you know, that's the power of the media. And to see LeBron step up and speak on that and not only speak on it, but handle it like a true alpha. And he told them, no, I want you to sit in it. I need you to sit in and think about it. Don't respond. And then he and then after he said what he had to say, he just got up. On to the next game, on to the next phase of life. Shout out to LeBron, man. That was some grown man shit you did last night. What do y'all think about it? Leave some comments, y'all. Like and subscribe. Catch Samuel Media.